Hello everyone. So today I just wanted to create a tutorial on how to mod Honeypop. That is to get Honeypop in a higher resolution. That is replacing the textures with higher quality textures and being able to unlock the resolution to run the game in any res resolution you want. So without further ado, I just wanted to show you uh, what the game looks like without the mods and with the mods. And as you can see, uh, with the mods, it's high resolution and the textures are high quality as well. So, let's get to how to do it. So, uh, so first of all, some a few prerequisites. You need to have WinRAR or 7-zip. So you can just search up WinRAR, just uh, left click, and you'll see that you can download your version here. So I've already downloaded and installed it. So you'll need admin rights if you want to install WinRAR or 7-zip. Uh, so, but from there, you should be fine. Another thing I want to say is that I take no credit for any of this. This is the wonderful work of Bepis and Ptang, and I wanted to give credit to them because they are wonderful people for creating these mods. Okay, so let's start with uh, how to do it. So this version uh, works for both the Steam version and the GOG version like depending on what version of the game you got. So let's start. The thing you need to do uh, is there will be a, a download link to a zip file in the description uh, with all these five files inside. So these five files are what you'll need to download for this for the, both of these mods to work. Uh, Bepin, Bepin and Ptang also made some written guides on the Honeypop Discord as can be seen here, but I just personally like video, so that's why I created this tutorial. So, uh, once you've downloaded these five files, what you want to do is you want to uh, copy them into your uh, Steam or your GOG folder for Honeypop. So how do you do that? So to do that, you have to go to your Steam library if you have Steam or just your GOG games folder where you have Honeypop and you want to right click and you go properties and then you go from, you'll be on the general tab and you go to local files and you go browse local files. So from there, you'll be in your Honeypop folder. You should be on this path that is C, program files times 86, Steam, Steam apps, common, Honeypop if you're using the Steam version. So from there, you want to control V, the files that you downloaded from the link in the description and you want to left click onto your Honeypop HD patcher. So from here, you want to right click and you want to click extract here. Okay, so once you've done that, you want to go to your Honeypop data folder and you want to go and copy the uh, resources assets and shared assets. You want to click on both of these. So you want to control click on both and then control C and then go inside your Honeypop HD patcher folder that you extracted and press control V. So once you've done that, you wanna click on the patcher.bat file. So this will uh, create some new files that you, that you will uh, copy back into your Honeypop data file, yeah, your Honeypop data folder. And so just let it uh, run and then once you've done that you want to copy all these files so resources.assets resources.assets.back shared assets zero dot assets uh, shared assets zero dot assets dot back and you want to control C and you want to put them into your honeypop data folder yep and you want to replace any files at the dis at the location that you need to replace so once you've done that you want to see that uh, it works so Let's just open up Honeypop. Yep, okay, so now we, we can run it and you can see that, you'll see that the credit, the, that the uh, resolution is a little bit higher, but let's just have a look inside. The way that you can tell that this work, this has worked is to just have a look at, um, as we can see, yep, so we can see that it's worked. How do I know that it's worked? Because when I move left and right, can you see, like if you look at uh, Ico, you can see if I move left and right, there's a little bit of a shimmer there. So you can see that the higher resolution has worked, 
but the next patch will get rid of that shimmer when it moves, as you can see in the clothes and some of the lines, there's a little bit of a pixely kind of edge. So we'll just quit that and we'll go back to our normal, uh, we'll go back to the folder. So that's why we have the next thing, which is the Bepin X.7Z. Now what you wanna do here is you wanna extract here. So you just wanna right click and you wanna click extract here. Okay, so you've got the Bepin X folder. So once you've downloaded the uh, HP resolution.7z and config.ini, you wanna put them inside the Bepin X folder. Wait, let me just double check that. <laughs> Okay, so from his written guide, Bepis's written guide. Yep, so you wanna save these files to your Honeypop Bepin X folder, and that should be it. And, oh yeah, sorry. And you need to overwrite this file in Honeypop data. So, as we can see, we downloaded this main data, dot, uh, main data so we wanna put that into the Honeypop data folder and you wanna replace this file, and then that's the entire uh, mod. Now you should see that it works. Like You can tell it's working if you see this thing over here. So the Bepin X preloader, and we can see that it's working, so from the side, and you can see that it's much, much higher resolution. So we can just set it to full screen, and I'll just show you that it's much higher resolution. There's one more setting that we, we can uh, change, but I'll show you that in a few seconds. So yeah, as you can see, it's much, much higher resolution and we don't have that pixely effect that was occurred earlier on a clothing when we move from left to right. Okay, so one more thing that Bepin, uh, Bepis, sorry, Bepis uh, advises is to create a shortcut. shortcut. So you wanna right click on your honeypop.exe and you wanna click create shortcut down here, yeah. So once you've done this, you wanna go inside properties and you wanna go into target and you wanna click, uh, you wanna add something. Uh, you wanna add this phrase, so force D3 D11. So this is separated with a space here. So you make sure there's a space here and there's dashes in between. And you wanna click apply and it shouldn't have any error messages. So from here, you want to be running honeypop.exe from this shortcut because that what that does is it forces it to use, I think it's direct X11. But however, I don't really see um, massive impacts towards my resolution on my computer. Maybe it's because I have a 4K monitor, but um, this also means you can't go full screen if you use this force D3, D11. So just test it out. Uh, Bepis advises doing it. so. It, it just means that you can't use uh, the windowed, you, you can't, you have to use it in windowed mode like this. You cannot use it in, um, in full screen mode. I'll show you what happens if you put it into full screen, it goes black, so it, it doesn't really work. So if you're gonna use this method, you, just keep in mind that you cannot use um, full screen. And to be honest, I feel like it kind of, the, the difference is minimal. However, if it does help you out, like with your resolution, just test it out and if it's better, then use that method. Uh, you can also use uh, window, windowed borderless gaming if you're using the D3, Force D3 D11, which is what Bep has suggested uh, if you're using that method. So thank you very much for being here. I know that this video was a little short, but I hope that it did help you out. So thank you very much. And yeah, I'm out.